You guys, we have exciting news. If you've been following us since the fall, I know you've all been waiting on bated breath for the final reveal of our tulip garden. We planted like a thousand tulip bulbs in November and we sprinkled some magic dust. These are green to thumbs. them, yeah. sung to them, yeah. read them bedtime stories. Yeah, I did not sing, that's where I was. Well, they would have died if you did. So, it's now spring and spring has sprung. sprung. Yep. Yep. Oh wow, that's how could we ever have known we were both gonna say that. Uh, so we're gonna show you the garden because it's quite impressive. It's spectacular. It's spectacular. It's spectacular. So it's time to actually cut them, so we're gonna thank you. We're gonna show you all of our hard work and then you're gonna see us cut them. Sad. And we're gonna save them for ourselves. We're gonna deliver some to some friends. Mm -hmm. But most importantly, we wanna get these out of the ground until, or before they bloom out. Bloom out. It's so, actually too late. Like if yeah, we were yeah, yeah. gonna properly harvest them, they would like be budded. Yeah. But it's okay, we wanted to see what they would look like. You like, ready? I'll go. actually insert some clips In from November. Uh -huh. And then here we go. Let's go. Let me get come back year after year, most do, but only if you leave them, let them bloom, and then let them get really ugly and brown and die, because what happens is the leaves still collect energy from the sun and transfers all of the energy into the bulb for next year. Oh, I love this little camera setup we've got going. So if you remove everything, including the bulb, <laughs> they won't bloom for next year because it you didn't allow it to Harness the energy from the sun. So we're gonna cut these. Yeah. All right. The hydrangeas are starting to have some leaves, and the azaleas are getting. Well, this one's not as pretty, but this azalea is getting some blooms, and they should pop soon enough. Also, I planted this lilac bush last year, and I'm just excited for it to finally bloom. Um, but let's get let's get into the good stuff. Let me see if anybody's home. Hey. Oh, I'm so happy you're here. Uh, come on in, welcome to my garden. Okay. Wow. Ignore the mess. <laughs> Look at this. You guys. You guys, I'm not kidding, like here's my hand for reference. These are so big. They really look like peonies. They're huge. They're absolutely huge. Look at this, I feel like we're in, in Willy Holland. Wonka. Oh. Or Holland. <laughs> We also planted some hyacinth, but we picked that a couple weeks ago and then these died out. But they were pretty. I forget what this is called. Do you remember? Uh, but they're cute. Cute little things. Um, but guys, what the heck? I feel like this is crazy. So we're gonna cut them now because as you can see, they're pretty bloomed out and we wanna save them while we can. But how? Insane that we were able to grow all of those. So I think we're going to, and obviously I'm more of the vegetable guy, Jeff is more of the flower guy, so I'll let him take over um, and tell you a little bit more, but we are going to, I think pull up the bulbs and you can actually store them in like a cool, dark place and then replant them again because we wanna pull those up and then put all the vegetables back and I don't think you can have them at the same time. I'm not entirely certain, but I think we're just gonna pull them up and replant them again next year. But what are you looking for? Uh, more shears. Shears. Uh, are they not in the third drawer in the kitchen? Uh, they're not. I brought them to the city. Oh. I was doing in the city. Wow. Okay. So, I mean, tell tell us a little bit more about how you're feeling. How how was it? I. 
I, I'm not gonna lie, I'm like really proud of them. Good, you should be. Um, I mean, look at the view from here, look how much color. It's like really remarkable. And I was very stressed out a couple of weeks ago because I saw the them budding like one inch off the ground. And I was like, oh, it's because of the mild winter we had. Things were too warm, things were too cold. Like, I'm not kidding, he was stressed like so much about these flowers, which I understand because I was the same way about the tomato plants and about all my hydrangeas because I planted each of these hydrangeas on my own and they slap after year after year. So I'm very proud of Jeff for planting those. I did help, but he did the majority of the work, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, this is the garden. So now we're gonna cut some and that's it, right? We're gonna put them in this wheelbarrow because I think it will be cute. Also, look at our rose bushes. All right, first one of the season. Wow. Put it next to your head. So pretty. One down, 999 to go. Now that they're all bloomed, which one is your favorite? Mm. I really like Look how beautiful that is. Here, do it this way into the light. Look how beautiful that is. Yeah. What's this one called? Uh, Charming Beauty. Oh, it smells good. Bonita. Tell me that's not the most insane wheelbarrow. Where wheelbarrow full of tulips you've ever seen. How you feel? Like a proud parent, if I'm being honest. Wow. So we picked them and now we don't know what to do. It's and they're not even we're not even fully finished. This is like this looks like it should be like a at a wedding or something, like a, something, I don't know. I mean, come on. Look at that. Ah! Jeff's posing for his picture. Why don't you lay back in I the, yeah. All right, change of plans. We have decided to post on our neighborhood Facebook page and we are selling the tulips for $10 a dozen because we have way too many and we just won't be able to enjoy all of them. So we are spreading the love, but trying to make a little money, you know, a little ROI. Will you check on the Facebook page and see if the post got approved? Yes, one minute. All right, we're taking them to the street. I'm gonna go sell my flowers. Instead of lemonade, I'm selling tulips. There we go. I do take Venmo as well. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> Waiting for our first customer. <laughs> we might be sitting here for a while. <laughs> we got our first customer. <laughs> we got our first customer. 
This is fun. Wait, this is my first time selling I know. flowers. First, first of many times. We're gonna frame this $20. Wait, let's do it. All right, we'll keep you posted. We have to run, but um, we're gonna finish this video when we come back and see A, if someone stole all our tulips or our money and whatever. All right, bye. A few moments later. We're back and we're still sitting pretty at $20. We did not get any other people while we were gone, but also it didn't look like anyone stole anything, so that's good. But we made ourselves our own little bouquet. And so that's, Thanks I am a little overwhelmed I, with so much. This what is we... exactly what happened with the tomatoes too. We just, yeah. our thumbs are too green. But that's it. So we'll see you next week in the next video. So that's it. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching. One day later. Huge update. The video is not over until, until now. All right. After last night and this morning, we have. Ninety dollars. Hundred. There's more. There's more. So one of our goals in life, I don't know if we've told you guys this before, is to own like a f not a, f like a farm. I guess we would do I full guess. farm with animals, but mostly like vegetables and flowers, so people can come and pick their own and like meet people. So we literally are gonna frame this first $20 because it's, it's our first dollar earned on selling flowers. And we made, this is, we were not planning on this. We did not plant these to like make money. It was just, we picked so many yesterday that we're like, let's sit them out front and we'll post on our neighborhood Facebook page. And a lady just came and I stopped her in the front yard while she was picking them out of the wheelbarrow. And I was like, do you want to come into the backyard and cut your own? And she was like, that's so sweet. <laughs> so, that's it's been so every time, every time I think this video is going to end, we get a new customer. So until we leave today, I'm going to document all the money we make. So this may be the end, it may not, but currently we're at 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 110, 115, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 120 dollars. Wow. Put some tulips, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, put some tulips?